Admiral Disturbance detected. It's you. Ooh, scouting reticle upgrade. Nice. Can you put in a good word for me on the arc light powers thing? I would be amazing. Hey guys, welcome to my Israel guide video. Today I will show you everything you need to know about this champion, starting with the ability sequence. We max the Q first because it is main damage that we use to farm and poke with, E second for the mobility so we can lower the cooldown of it, and then W last. His ultimate is a global projectile used to snipe targets across the map, so we put points into this at level 6, 11 and 16. Alright guys, so Israel in the landing phase. You always want to start with that Q level 1 because that is your ranged damaging ability, you use that to farm and poke with. So Israel is pretty strong in the early game and that is because of his passive, so what it does is that every single time you damage an enemy unit, you will get one stack of your passive. One stack will give you 10% attack speed and it can stack up to 5 times. So if you have that fully stacked then you can get a lot of attack speed in the early game and you can use that to trade with. So we can play aggressive early on but once we have our first base that's when we need to watch out. We got level 2 first here because we have prime lane. That's why we're able to push, but we need to watch out when Leona gets some levels in abilities because then it is dangerous for Soraka. So we always take E level 2 here because that is our safety. It's basically a mini flash. And you can actually use this ability to cancel out CC like Thresh Hook, Nautilus Hook, uh, Blitzcrank Hook if you time it properly. So that's why uh, Israel is a really good pick against these types of champions. Oh my god, I actually thought I had... Uh, I normally take heal, but I had to take a cleanse against this comp here, so I thought I had heal and wanted to heal Soraka. <laughs> it's kind of int. My uh, support died right there. But she was also extended quite a bit. She needs to respect the uh, Leona all in. There you go. This is good for me here. Because I can poke her. Nice. There we go. We're gonna win this. There we go, double kill. Just baited them a little bit here, and so now it turned out pretty good for us. Of course, we need a cleanse in this matchup here because they have a lot of CC, and if you get caught by one CC spell, then they'll just chain CC you. That's why I have cleanse here, so I can survive. Soraka should probably also have cleanse in this lane, because she is uh, immobile. So if she gets caught, then she's also dead, like we saw early on. I just want to push this so I can base, because I'm sitting on a lot of gold. We need to get out of here. We have a lot of poke as well. Be careful using your um, abilities, uh, your E aggressively, because um, it has a really high cooldown in the early game. Oh my god, I am so dead. He's gonna flash, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, then it's actually pretty fine. Okay, we got his flash out at least, so that's something. 
Hopefully Sora can mix it out. Yeah, she should. Okay. First item, you want the tier always, and then you can go for the pickaxe afterwards. Um, the reason you want tier on Israel is because he's a cast ADC, that means you'll be using abilities most of the time to damage people. Of course you also use auto attacks a lot, but your main damage comes from abilities, and in order for you to spam those abilities, you need a huge mana pool. That's why you want this tier of the goddess first, and then you can have that stacked. Once you have that stacked, upgrade it to the mana mune and transform into Muramana with a Triforce, that's why you're really really strong and that's why this champion spikes. Plus your W is going to make your next auto attack or ability deal bonus damage to the target. It can be hard to hit a WQ but a WE is pretty much guaranteed because your E will prioritize the target hit by your W. That way you can get an easy hit, or else you can also auto attack the champion. But if you use an ability to proc it, then you'll get mana back. We're just gonna poke here, that's what you want to do on Israel. Poke is really important. We have a pickaxe here, she's sitting on two long swords. Normally, on your first base on Israel, you're really weak, but we are pretty fit right now, so... We can afford to play it aggressive, we just need to watch out for Warwick. He doesn't have flash at least. Poke, poke all the time, release your Q. He does prog on hit as well, so... If you have a red buff or sheen or something, then it's going to prog all of it. We see Warwick around here. is level 5. Okay, he got level 6 now, so want to be careful. Yeah, there he is. He's gonna take the Drake. Okay, he's not. I think he might still go for it. He's probably just waiting a bit. He doesn't have flash up. Oh, top lane is not teleporting. Does he even have it up? I need to get out of here. So this is where cleanse is really good. Really, bro? I think she should be dead still. I can EO the wall here and catch her. Let's see. Okay, she tried to trade back. That was a very interesting dive, so no flash on Maokai, no teleport either. And we have Warwick coming in here, I need to place a ward so he doesn't sneak it again. I have Soraka coming in. Nice, there we go. Awesome. That's why I played a bit more aggressive here. Because if you time her E right, then I should be able to survive, and that's what I did. It was pretty close though. I'll place another control ward. It should be ours, but still. So now, we would really want to push this wave in here, so I can look for a base, because I have almost 2k gold guys, so... We don't want to stay for too long, because right now I don't really have a lead. Also need to protect the Soraka because Leona can engage at any point right now. Yeah. This is what happens if you don't have cleanse.
All right. We probably have to base here so we don't risk getting dove. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, the reason why I have cleanse. Let's get tier 2 boots here, so next item will be the Sheen. Because of the synergy with your Q, because it procs the Sheen, so you have a lot of damage on it. Should be killed, right? Nice. Wait, Soraka? Wait, did she DC or something? I don't know what happened. I think maybe she was looking uh, mid lane for ult and then she accidentally ran it down or something. I don't know what happened. Yeah, they're still waiting here. I got the flash out. So something is out of list and we do have the ultimate from Soraka. Oh my god. There we go. We can turn on Ash as well. There we go. Nice. Of course, before you fight on this champion, um, it is really useful that you have that passive stack, so try to spam it on the minion wave. Spamming your Qs, so right now we have it stacked, so we can push really fast as well. We don't see a mid lane on the map. We also don't see the jungle, so they could be looking to Gengar spots, so we definitely need to base soon. W also works on the towers and the bigger objectives like the Baron, Drake and Elder Drake, but it doesn't work on the jungle camps, watch out, yup. It's very very difficult to play out this lane without our cleanse. They would do the same thing to me if I also didn't have cleanse, so that's why I'm uh, I went for that here. So, we want that Triforce. That is a big power spike item here, but you can also go Icebound Gauntlet, and you want to go for the Gauntlet if um, they have a lot of AD. And especially if they have an AD Assassin, so if Set wasn't the enemy team right now, then I would have went for the Gauntlet. It is more useful for survivability because you get a lot of armor, so you become extremely tanky. So assassins won't be able to burst you down, but uh, Triforce has more damage. So if they have a lot of physical damage on the team with AD assassins, then go for the Icebound Gauntlet. If not, then um, Watch out, she might be trying to bait. If they don't have a lot of uh, AD gems, then go for the uh, Triforce, because it has way more damage. Also gives you more mobility. Oh my. There we go. I think I saved her this time. She might still die though. Please survive. Nice. She's gonna make it. There we go. We just need to turn on Ash if they use everything on Soraka. Because if I didn't turn here, then she would have died again. This lane is very difficult for her to play though, because she's immobile and Leona Ash is an engaged lane. We can get this tower here, we should W. And then Q on the minions to get their bonus attack speed. There we go. So we got the first tower as well going really well for us and Ringa is getting the dragon nice all right probably need to stay in base for a bit here because I almost have enough for the Triforce 
Then we have a massive power spike. Just using abilities in base here so we can stack this item. Uh, we have endless mana regen. There we go. Now we are so strong. Really, really strong. Nice. Oh, I think uh, set this down. Oh, Maokai coming in as well. This is not good. Oh, Flash is down. That top lane is roaming a lot, that's for sure. Okay, I have to defend. Not sure if we can do that alone though. Yeah, that's zero chance of me defending this alone. Vlad should have been mid right now, so that's a huge mistake by him. We have a lot of damage, but it's not enough. Because we are alone. No flash on Maokai though. Vlad is, Vlad is at least ahead in CS, so it's not too bad. It sucks a bit losing the mid lane tower though. So, mid game guys, what you want to do is that you switch with your mid laner. You can go top, but if you have an assassin, like I said, that really wants to go to the side lane, then you switch with them because mid lane is much safer for you. I'm gonna wait, go out of vision here and see if I can hit her without. Nice. Because if I used it within vision, then she would just see it and probably react to it, so this is a lot better. We have a lot of poke. It doesn't matter that I tank a couple tower shots because we have the sustain from Sorak and we really want this tower to go down as well. Fight going on. Can we help him? Oh my god, that's not good. I had to flash it. I should just let him die and then get this tower. That would have been the right play. So I made a mistake there. He might be trying to bait for the uh, Warwick. Oh my god, that's a lot. Of CC, there's zero chance of me surviving. I should have positioned better this fight, but... Okay, so they have armor here. These guys are also going for very tanky builds. But we need the death stance, that's gonna help us surviving, cause... It is really, really OP on Estrel. Like, extremely OP, because it makes him tankier. Gives him CDR, and also gives him double uh, stats, defensive stats. Alright, so let's see. The dragon is spawning soon, so we need to play around that. Okay, I have to get out of here because Akali might be trying to flank from this side. And they have Maokai, extremely tanky. I need some armor pin, but I also need the death stand so I can survive. They have a front line though, and our Vladimir is top for some reason. He's getting the tower at least, I hope. We just have to stay back here and try to focus. Uh, Poking people with the cues. I don't want to get flanked. Okay, this is not good. This is very bad. Okay, now we need to get out of here.
I got the Drake though, um, but we probably lose it anyway because uh, our top laner is uh, in the side lane, which he shouldn't be when the objective is up. He needs to be split pushing, but he also needs to group when we play for the objectives. We got the top tower though, so we did get something. Maokai is extremely tanky, we need some armor pen, but we also need the resistance really bad, so as soon as I have this item, then I will go for the Molto Reminder. Can also deny them a lot of healing. Warwick heals for a lot, Ash also heals for a lot with the Blade of the Ruin King. Maokai also has some built-in healing, so... It is the optimal item this game. Just need to have the farm for it. Okay, we got someone. I'm gonna get the blue buff here. I haven't been able to farm that much here, so it's important that we try to take whatever we can get. Yep, I need to be bot right now, because they used the Herald. Okay, we see a Kali top side, so... Oh my god, guys. We should have waited. Okay, we have lag coming in. Nice, let's get him. I need to use cleanse here because that tower would kill me for sure. Hope I can get out. Probably not. I think I'm dead, yeah. Yeah. They went way too early and that teleport was also really late. So we kind of ended there, all of us. I should also not have eaten. There was also a bit troll. Vladimir is ahead in CS though. I mean, he should be because he didn't uh, leave his lane, but now he is pretty fed. He has these two items here, so if we group, then we can actually do a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one here, so we can complete this item faster. Alright, my card top side. I need to stay mid though, can move from this lane here because if I go to silent then I'll just get caught out to just press me down. We need Soraka to stay mid as well, she should not be going top. Vladimir needs solo XP and gold. Okay, they're grouping mid again. Akali has a stopwatch, so you need to keep that in mind. Really important that you look at the uh, items the enemies have, so you don't get baited. We have enough for the distance now, it's 500 gold. There we go. I think I can pop out here, uh, Sonia's. Oh, nope. Touched it. Alright, so now we have a distance and all core item completed here. So this is what makes Israel really strong, this meta, because uh, he gets pretty much everything from this item and he also becomes really tanky, so assassins, assassins won't be able to push you down can tank a lot of hits and still survive because of the bleed passive combined with the sustain. Need to watch out for the flank from coming from this side, there it is. I can hop over here, so I should be safe. Need to watch out for the ash arrow though, because I really don't want to waste my cleanse, because that means I will be vulnerable for the next fight. Yeah, she should stay with me. That's a big mistake. 
We also have an assassin team against a tanky one for a lot of CC, so it's hard to pull it off. Oh wow, that was so close. We got the Maokai as well. Really need to try to kite as much as you can on this gem. Get Ash as well, nice. And you hit the... Uh... There we go, awesome. Somehow I won this fight. We should actually do Baron right now. That would be the right play. That also needs to come though, because we are really squishy and hopefully he doesn't have teleport. But I can get some arm pin once I base. If he has teleport then we need to back off. But I really abuse that. Passive here, the extra attack speed to take down this uh, objective much faster. Nice, we got the Baron. I think he makes it out, right? Okay, nice. Now we can build the armor pen items. We definitely need that right now. We have the components. So we have the anti-healing as well. So Warwick won't heal him anymore. Same goes for Ash. I need that blue buff so I can spam my abilities here. This game is way too chaotic uh, for you to be able to farm well. And it does happen in some games, you won't be able to farm that well. But we have a lot of kills, so we're still getting gold from somewhere. We can actually go for the speed pushing, but that relies on Soraka not getting caught. Because we have really strong side laners right now. So if they can drag people to the side lanes, then we have a much easier time pushing mid. He's zoning with the ults, that's good. Oh, there are three sub. Wait, he engaged on me? Oh, she would have been dead right there. That's good. That's really good. So, that's why you want to push mid right now when they have when you have split uh, split pushers because they send too many people to upside. That means we have enough time to take down the other objectives. So this is how you punish people grouping and ganging one split pusher. You just push the other lanes really fast. Wait, why did he take it? Okay, a space and get the model reminder. There you go. So you can probably also go for this one here. Don't need to use it yet, because I think the game will be over in a fight. That gives us huge AD boost. Go. He's not stealing that one. I already lost the other red buff here, so we need to push top now. We are melting this guy because we have um, the armor pen item. That's good. Since they have really high HP champions this game, I can also go for a Blade of the Rune King. Let's give him an ult. Go poke the Akali here. Okay, the red buff is giving me aggro. Just gonna push, just let him do his thing in the side lane. And we have all the objectives, and we just need to play it out slow. Oh, if that hits, he would have been dead right there for sure. But we can probably go for the end here, need to watch out for the engage though. Go, just focus where it was closest to you. Oh, 
But yeah, this was the astral guide, so I do hope this was helpful, and as always, see you guys in the next one. I know time's hard.